Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about 5 megawatt grid connected PV system with the incremental conductance BBT. So this is a simulation model for 5 megawatt grid connected PV system with the incremental conductance BBT and then so here you, you can see that so this is a PV array. So here you can see that the PV array having 11 model uh, connected in series and then you can see the 2.1325 into 10 power 3 uh, parallel strings so each panel that mean uh, the single panel rating is uh, 213.15 watts voltage at maximum power point is 29 volt the current the current at maximum power point is 7.35 amps an open circuit voltage is 36.3 and the short circuit current is 7.84 amps and it going to be connected to the, the grid inverter so via this boost converter and this boost converter will be designed uh, based upon the terminal voltage so here you can see the 29 volt into 11 right so that mean 29 into 11 so 319 volt right so at uh, standard test condition the terminal voltage will be 319 across this PV panel and then here the DC link voltage so this is a DC link so this DC link going to be maintained at uh, 800 volt okay so 800 volt and then based upon power rating so power rating of the PV array so power rating of the PV array is uh, 5 megawatt and then you have to fix the the ripple inductor percentage and uh, a ripple capacitor voltage okay that means ripple inductor current percentage and ripple capacitor voltage percentage so based upon uh, this detail right so you can uh, uh, design this uh, LNC value right so already we, we have a lot of video about the designing of uh, boost converter so you may check my youtube channel for designing a boost converter how we are going to calculate that LNC values right so just you go to check my youtube channel and then this uh, boost converter right so this boost converter going to be controlled by means of uh, MPPT algorithm so MPPT nothing but maximum power point tracking algorithm so that maximum power point tracking algorithm is to far uh, extract the maximum power from the PV panel because so this PVR is depends upon two parameters like irradiation and temperature so when the irradiation temperature is going to be changed that uh, the PV and IV characteristics is going to be changed okay so for, for different irradiation condition you can see that it have the different uh, uh, PV cat 6 and then it have uh, different peak powers with respect to that irradiation right so this peak power right so this peak power should be extracted always in order to get the maximum power from the PV array so then only you can utilize the uh, the maximum power of the PV right so for that we need a MPPT algorithm so here we are using the incremental conductance MPPT so the incremental conductance MPPT receiving two inputs so one is VPV and IPV and finally this will be provided uh, duty cycle right so inside in the incremental conductance MPPT so you have to fix the four parameter like uh, initial duty cycle maximum duty cycle minimum duty cycle and then you have to fix the, the increment decrement uh, change in duty cycle and also you have to fix the uh, five parameter like uh, four parameter like the previous voltage power duty cycle and the current right so and then you have to provide the initial value for the two previous voltage power current and duty cycle and then here you have to calculate uh, power of the p panel the change in voltage change in power change in current okay so next you have to apply the incremental conductance mppt conditions right so first you have to check the change in voltage whether it is equal to 0 or not next you have to if suppose it is equal to 0 next you have to check uh, 
the change in current equal to zero. So if both condition equal to zero, dv equal to zero, dA equal to zero means so already the PV will be operated to so maximum power point condition. Okay, and that means you can draw. So this is IV PV and this is PV cat six, right? So this is IV cat six. This is PV cat six. So already uh, when this condition true, already this will be operated to maximum power point condition. If suppose the DA is greater than zero, means we need to decrement the voltage of the boost converter. So if we decrement the voltage, means uh, in this point right it will be operated in this region so we need to increment the voltage okay so for that we need to decrement the duty cycle if suppose a da is uh, less than zero means it will be operated in this region so we need to uh, increment the duty cycle in order to move from this side to this side okay so this is a condition when this uh, da is greater than zero and da is less than zero so next uh, incremental conductance and BPT constant that means condition is uh, dA by dV equal to minus IBV. So this is uh, incremental conductance. So you have to equate incremental conductance which is equal to minus IBV. So if both are equal right so it will be operate this point maximum power point condition only. So no need to change the duty cycle okay. If dA by dV is greater than minus IBV right so that means it will be operate in this point so we need to determine the duty cycle by uh, duty cycle to increase the voltage so otherwise you have to uh, that when dA by dV is greater than so less than minus IVB so it will be operate in this region so we need to uh, increment the duty cycle to reduce the PV voltage in order to uh, bring back to the maximum power point so this is the uh, working of that uh, incremental conductance IMBPT so this is a code for that so finally we have uh, that uh, duty cycle here so the duty cycle can be processed via PWM generator right so PWM generator nothing but a pulse width modulation so just you have to convert duty cycle with a triangular wave or a sort of waveform so it will be generated the pulse PWM pulse so that pulse going to be control this IGBT in order to extract the maximum power from the PV as well as maintain the, the voltage of the PV at the maximum power point condition okay and next you have to go for the uh, uh, inverter grid inverter and uh, filter design the, this filter design will be designed based upon that uh, the ripple inductor current and uh, power rating of the PV and then voltage of this uh, grid right so here the voltage rating is 400 volt and uh, the frequency is 50 hertz we are consider okay so you have to design this filter accordingly okay and then here you need to control this inverter so inverter going to be controlled by means of two concept one is that means uh, we are going to combine both uh, voltage control and current control okay so the voltage control used to for maintaining the dc bus voltage at 800 volt right so for that we need to measure the dc voltage and it will be compared with the reference voltage right and then it going to be converted into per unit and then it going to be processed via PA controller so this PA controller nothing but voltage controller so input will be error voltage and the output will be the current reference in the form of uh, DQ right so here uh, from this PA controller this voltage controller so it will be generate ID reference okay so here we are going to control only real power so uh, the another input IQ reference will be left uh, blank right? that means IQ reference here we are considering zero okay that's why we are not connecting anything here okay and then we need to measure the grid current right here you have to measure the grid current and then grid current going to be converted into per unit and then it should be converted into DQ naught form right so it is in ABC form so in order to control the system in DQ form so you need to convert so here we are applying the power transformation so in order to apply this power transformation we need omega t omega t nothing but a phase angle with respect to time so the phase angle with respect to time will be taken from the PLR right so input for the PLR will be grid voltage the output will be the phase angle with respect to time so that will be used for uh, converting that uh, ABC to DQ naught by using power transformation so after that we here we are going to control ID Q ID and IQ so we have to take only ID and IQ value 
and then we will be compared with the ID IQ reference and here we have to process via current controller so this will be act as a current controller so input will be error current and the output will be controlled voltage okay next the controlled voltage will be uh, converted into ABC form by using inverse spark transformation and then here we have the modulating signal in the form of three phase waveform ABC form that going to be processed via the pedulum generator sinusoidal pedulum generator so this will be generated the six pulse so the six pulse will be going to control this inverter in order to inject the power from the PV to grid okay so whatever power available in the PV that will be sent to the grid okay so here you can measure the PV voltage current and the power and here we are measuring the uh, grid voltage current and the uh, inverter voltage and current so here we are measuring the grid power and inverter power okay and then this one used for measuring the duty cycle and then this one used to for measuring the modulating signal and then this is the DC link voltage okay so now I am going to simulate the model we have to check the result of the system now the system operated at 1000 watts per meter square okay You have to wait for some time because it is initializing the simulation. So you have to wait for some time for initialization. After that, it will be start executing. Now simulation start executing, right? And then so here you can see that the so this is a PV voltage is maintained is is come nearer to the uh, nearer to the maximum power point right voltage right around 399 volt so 319 volt and then current will be is around 15,000 amps here you can see that we are generating maximum power of 5 megawatt so this is a duty cycle variation okay of this uh, from that incremental conductance and PPT and then this is uh, grid voltage right and then grid current so this is the inverter voltage so this is inverter current okay so here you can see that uh, we are sending power from the pv is around 5 megawatt and then grid also is receiving power, power around 4.8 megawatt right so this is a control signal from that uh, inverse power transformation right that means that from that voltage and current control of the inverter and then here you can see, see that the DC link voltage is maintained at 800 volt ok so now I am going to change the timing and also I am going to change the irradiation to 500 ok so now we, we are going to check the result of change in irradiation condition So now you can see that uh, because of change in irradiation condition the, the current of PV is uh, reducing and then voltage is ma maintained around that 300 volt only so current will be is around uh, around 7.5 kilo ohms right kilo ohms and then you can see that the power is, is comes around 2.5 megawatt so this is the duty cycle now we are uh, that means uh, incremental conductance is uh, generating okay here you can see this is the grid voltage and grid current is reduced right and inverter current also reduced so this is the inverter voltage and also you can see the, the variation of uh, modulating signal and then changes in the grid power and inverter power so here you can see that and the DC link voltage maintained around 800 volt only okay so this is the working of uh, 5 megawatt connected PV system with the incremental conductance in the pit.
Thank you for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.